Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we brought the secret potion over the Jasmine in the lighthouse, and now that the Ampharos is fully healed, she is back at the gym once again. In this episode, we're going to be heading into the gym, but before I do that, I want to show off my team really quick, because as you can see, I did train my Pokemon up to level 30, with the exception of Nikki, because, well, Nikki evolves into Jinx at level 30, and I kind of want to show that off in this episode. And it's really close to leveling up, so by the next trainer, it will evolve nicely. Now, two things I want to mention. One, Cinder does have the Charco, which boosts the power of Fire-type moves. And two, Betro has Wing Attack. It learned it at level 30. It is an amazing flying-type move for Betro, and probably the only one that it will get for quite a while, if ever. So, without further ado, let's enter the gym here. Jasmine uses the newly discovered Steel type. I don't know very much about it. At this point in the series, the Steel type was a brand new type that was recently discovered, and with Jasmine being the only trainer in this gym, we're not going to waste any time. Let's begin this thing. Let's talk to her. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Steel type. Do you know about the Steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Oh boy. Even at level 30, this gym could prove to be a problem. So, let's not waste any time. Jasmine is our sixth gym leader. She's going to lead things off with a Magnemite, level 30, electric steel type with the moves, Thunderbolt, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunder Wave. This thing is insane. It could use Thunder Wave and then go for a Supersonic to give you Parafusion, but with the Ember with the Charcoal, we should be able to not knock this thing out, and then it goes for the Thunder Wave. Are you kidding me right now, Cinder? And are you kidding me with a Supersonic? I think that's utterly ridiculous. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> and of course I hit myself with only a 25% chance of attacking. Ooh, I wasn't expecting much. Let's switch out here. And I'm going to switch into Flowey. Because Flowey is resistant to electrical type attacks. And hopefully we can knock this thing out with Absorb because Acid is not going to do anything to Magnemite because Steel types are immune to Poison type moves. Which is kind of stupid, but that's just the way the game works, right? I mean, I guess it makes sense because Steel type could be immune to who the heck knows. But I'm going to get rid of the Paralysis off Cinder because he will be a valuable asset to the rest of this fight. And I'm surprised that Thunder Wave did not work there. I have no idea why that even worked, but hey. And look at that. Absorb did absolutely nothing. That's insane. Alright, let's go for the Absorb once again. And there we go. Barely able to knock it out, we defeated the Magnemite with Flowey. I have no idea how I managed to pull that off, but hey, it worked out. Now it is time for her ace, Steelix. I'm going to bring in Slowpoke for that, and I will explain why in just a moment. So, this is her ace, Steelix, level 35, Steel and Ground type, with the moves Iron Tail, Rock Throw, Sunny Day, and Screech. This Pokemon has Sunny Day, which has the power of Water type moves. So I switch into Bro here, because he is a Water type, and although Surf here is not going to do a lot of damage, if I switch into Cinder, everything is going to be A-OK, -okay because... Sunny Day also has another effect of doubling the power of Fire-type moves. So let's go and bring in Cinder. And even though we have a low base power Ember move, a low base power Fire-type move, we should be able to do a ton of damage to this thing because it's super effective damage against Steelix with the Charcoal and the Sunny Day active. This Ember is going to be doing a lot, and I mean a lot of damage. Oh, and so close to knocking it out too, that's insane. Will the rock throw knock me out? Not quite. Perfect. This is excellent. And of course he used a Hyper Potion. Why wouldn't you use anything else? Let's be honest here. All I need this Ember to do is knock off more than half of its health. And wow! The critical hit is so real right there! I can't even believe it right now! Oh man, that was so good, Senta. You are amazing. And her final Pokemon is a Magnemite. Exactly the same as the first one, level 30 electric steel type with the moves Thunderbolt, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunder Wave. This thing is not a threat at all. Let's go for the Ember, and with the boosted power of the sun, this thing is over. There is no way it's going to survive. Just like that, perfect. We have won it. And so close to 31, that's insane too. You are a better trainer than me, in both skill and kindness. In accordance with League rules, I confer upon you this badge. Whew, we have done it, guys. We got the Mineral Badge, our sixth badge of the game. Mineral Badge raises Pokemon's defense. 
Um, please take this too. We get TM23 out of the deal. What does this contain for us? You could use that TM to teach Iron Tail. Iron Tail is an amazing seal type move. It has 100 base power, but it has 75% accuracy. It's a really good move. And even though it's inaccurate, I will be teaching it to a Pokemon. I'm going to be teaching it to Red Bull. Because Red Bull only has normal type moves. It doesn't fare well against rock types at all. So to give it an advantage against rock types, if it has a steel type move, which is super effective, plus the power of his amazing physical attack, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. And I'm very happy to be teaching it that move, because it's a pretty good move. I just have to go with the hopes that it hits quite often, because its accuracy is not the greatest. But, now that we're done with that, where are we heading off to right now? Well, there is an area to the east of Ecritique City that we can go to that will be amazing for us. But I think before I do any of that, I'm going to go heal up really quick, so I'll be right back. Alright you guys, now that I have healed up, let's head on to the east. Mount Mortar is like a maze inside. Be careful, don't get lost in there. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Here we are on Route 42. We're going to pick up an Ultra Ball, which is better than a Great Ball. Uh, I, might, I think it's double the power of a Pokeball, actually, which makes more sense. But, up there is Mount Mortar in that cave. We're not going to be entering in there yet because I don't really want to right now. Because we just finished a gym, and that place is huge. That's going to be its own episode. And as you can see down there, it's freaking Suicune. We do need Cut in order to get through there, though. And here we pick up a Super Potion here. Mm, pretty good item. It absorbs 50 HP. It, we could do better at this point, but hey, whatever. And here we have a trainer here. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. Alright, let's see if you can do anything decent. But now that we are fighting a trainer here, it is time to go over some Pokemon that we could find here in this route. Route 42. The first one is Mankey, only in gold. Mankey is a pretty good Pokemon in terms of speed and offensive capabilities. It's pretty fast. It does quite a bit of damage, and it also is one... I think it's the second or the first fastest Pokemon in the second generation. I have no idea. But it's a really good Pokemon. I highly recommend it if you want a good fighting type that's fast and does damage. And as you can see here, Cinder is now level 31. And it's learning Flame Wheel, a much better fire type move than Ember. If we had Flame Wheel at the time when we fought Jasmine, I guarantee you that Steel could have been done in one hit with the Sunny Day up. I guarantee it. But better have it late than never, I suppose. But there we go. What? That's not right. Yeah, that is definitely right. And I'm going to switch my team up a bit because I do want Nikki to be able to level up just that one more before it evolves. So let's give it that last battle it deserves. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost. All right, we'll be sure to do that. We're not going to really do that until we beat you, though. Another Pokemon you can find in this route, only in gold and silver, is Flaffy. I see the same thing about Mareep with to Flaffy. It's a pretty good special attacker. It's only really slow, so if you want a good special attacker that's an electric type at this point in the game, I say go for it. It's also evolved into Flaffy, not into Ampharos yet, but at least it's evolved at some point. And with Nidorita gone... Oh, so close. So freaking close. But after this last Pokemon, this Nidorino, we should be able to do really good things when this thing evolves. It's going to be amazing. Another Pokemon you can find here in Crystal in the Morning and Daytime is Arbok. Arbok is a pretty mediocre poison type. There are better poison types out there. The one thing I can say about Arbok is that it's already fully evolved, so you don't have to train it from an Ekans. So if you want that for the sake of it being fully evolved, go for it, I guess. But, as you'll see here, Nikki is finally evolving after all this time. I have been waiting for this evolution for so long. But we finally have ourselves a Pokemon with the longest cry in the history of the game at this point. We got ourselves Jinx. And just for that, I'm going to demonstrate the power of Jinx right now. We are going to fight this trainer here, and everything is going to be alright in the world. Let's go for it. Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Oh, you're not going to be free now after Jinx completely pulverizes your Pokemon. But, now that we're fighting this hiker here, the final Pokemon we can find here is Firo and Crystal in Morning and Daytime. Firo, I did say it was better than Pidgeot, and it's already fully evolved, so if you want a good normal flying type, I mean a decent normal flying type, go for it. It's really good at this point, considering it's, again, already fully evolved, so you don't even have to train it up that much. It's pretty much ready to go whenever you catch it. You might have to off-screen grind it a bit at this point, but... It's a good Pokemon nonetheless. But as you will see here, Nikki is just putting in the finest of work. And I don't even have to use Ice Punch to knock this Geodude out. It's going to go down real quick, just like that. That is perfect. 
No problems at all. And what is your final Pokemon? A Dugtrio? Hmm. Nothing. Not a problem for Jinx right now. I could just use Confusion here, but I'm just going to go for the Ice Punch because Ice Punch is a really good move. And it's a special attack in this game, so of course I'm going to use it. Get out of here and give me all that delicious experience. Get out of here, Benjamin. Gahaha! <laughs> yeah, you go down. Alrighty then. Let's continue on through and head to Mahogany Town. But before I do anything, I'm going to get cut, so I will be right back. Alright, you guys, so I got cut. Uh, I did bring out Slave back once again, so let's go ahead and use Cut really quick. And... There is that Suicune. But there are some fruit-bearing trees here, and one of them is a pink Capricorn. I will be taking advantage of Kurt's Pokeballs services off-screen, because there are some Pokeballs that I do want to make for areas coming up. And you'll see why in a little while. In a little while being quite later on, actually. I have no idea when, though. But hey. So we got a yellow Apricorn here, and now that we have done that, I think it's time for me to go back to uh, Mahogany Town, so I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alrighty then, so here we are. Since this is since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. But I want to fight the gym! Yes, this is in fact the seventh gym here. Price, the teacher of winter's harshness. Oh my goodness gracious. We will be taking on this gym, but not for a while. We still have a ways to go. While visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. Back when I first played this game, I thought this said Rare Candy Bar. Welcome, how may I help you? And this guy sells some really weird items. He sells Slowpoke Tails, which sells for a lot of money. Pokeballs and the like. But there's no point in buying Slowpoke Tails, because you can't do anything with them. Hehe, <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Whew. That music in there is really creepy, I have no idea. But let's go into here for a bit. I heard that the red Gyarados appear at the lake. That's odd, since their ordinary Gyarados are rare in, are rare in that. That is, I butchered that, holy crap! My favorite radio program, I say Pokemon music. Alrighty then, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Hiya, kid! I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it could be yours for just 300 Poke Dollars. Yeah, I will, you know what, I think I will go and buy one. I just really don't know what it does, to be honest. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a red candy, Rage Candy Bar. And let me go and see what that does really quick, because I don't remember it has been quite the while. And that really sucks, actually. Why the heck did I buy it? Well, I was just purely curious. Are you off to see the Gyarados Rampage at the lake? Uh, I think... Yeah, that's pretty much where we're going to be heading off to. So, with that being said, guys, I think that's going to be the end for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be heading north of Mahogany Town to visit the Lake of Rage. I have no idea what's going to be there, except I really do. And I'm really excited for it. It's going to be awesome. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Crystal. See you guys then.